Well, good morning, folks. So I'm going to be trying to put a short on in here using the 15-minute Sibby. And initially, I want to see it try to trade down into this discount fair value gap. Uh, I have a limit order in with the expectation that we could potentially trade up into that little fair value gap right there. So if you look at how we have had multiple attempts to trade higher than the 320 level, they're jagged. So I, I run the risk of not getting a fill here, but that gives me insight this could become a breakaway gap. But right now, we're looking at it as a potential area to go short because there's a volume imbalance in that area it's just to the left of it as well. So I'm going to measure the wick in here, see if I can get my stop just above the consequent encroachment of that wick midpoint, basically. And I'm just waiting to see if I can get a fill. If not, I'll have to take something lower. And that's fine because there's a potential inversion fair value gap. I'm noting a fair value gap on the 15 minute time frame. You can see there's time, or not time, but the uh, price levels here. And this is where I want to see my first partial come off at. And then, meaning I want to see at least get to this price or lower before I take my first partial. So far, it looks like it may want to run lower without going up into that. And efficiency and price. So I have noted where my limit orders are. <clears throat> yeah, I like this little area here. It's a little too smooth. Let me show you. Look at this here. See all these? See all these lows? See all that? That's my eye jumps right to that stuff. Wherever. Wherever the markets are real smooth, my eye goes right to it. It's just years of looking for it. And I see that as a, uh, a draw on liquidity. You know, it could go lower, but uh, those are the levels I'm looking at for how the market will reach for a discount. Because right now we're at a premium, and it looks as if I am not getting... That's so we're going to note the inversion fair value gap here. And inversion is usually shown as like an orange hue in my examples. And I say that loosely because sometimes I may be trading. I'm going to lower this down here. So I want to try to get in right above the previous down close candle, which I just got to fill now. I just want to. Put this in here just a little bit above the consequent encroachment of that inversion fair value gap. And when I get it filled on the second one, I'll consider where I want to put the stop loss at. It'll be less than it is now. And I don't think we're going to run yet. I might want to bang one more time in there. If not, I'll use the low of the inversion fair value gap to get me in. Try not to be too demanding on it today because it's no news. Just a little bit more, baby. Come on. It should do it in here. There we go. 
now we're at the dance so let's go all right so i have my stop now up where the volume amounts just to the left of that pink inefficiency um, i suspect that now is a breakaway gap but i'm monitoring price I'll come up and annotate that in a minute, but uh, that's my first partial. And that may graduate lower, depending upon how we move here. Um, we're just trading at a immediate rebalance with the up close candle trading into the bottom of that inversion fair value gap so far. We're seeing exactly what I'd like to see. Immediate responsiveness lower. I'll widen these candles so you can track a little bit better. And moving the stop lower just above the inversion fair value gap. It should not return now to the upper side of that. And I'll note this is a breakaway gap now. And we'll make it yellow. I really don't like yellow, but <laughs> this one's you know draw special attention to that because you can see as the trade pans out. As you can see, we are not using market replay. Uh, we don't look at uh, Take results like that to uh, garner online clout and the countdown to the candles to close. You can see that in the right side price access of trading view and it is market open. So nothing here is delayed. Nothing is fake. Nothing market replay, actual live executions over live price action. All right, I'll maximize this. You can see a little bit better. And the trade looks overall really nice where it's at now. And I'm, I'm contemplating lowering that partial. I'm looking at that swing low between 7.30 and 7.40 a.m. And that's sell side. So I'm, yeah, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to take the first partial there. So let's take this off here. We don't need to show that anymore. So first partial, let me just annotate it. Um, well, how do I say it? Uh, I'll just type it here. This is a minor sell side liquidity, meaning that it's not the uh, the terminus of the move. It's just this is the initial minor sell side target while being short. I want to see it trade there for my first partial. So therefore it's hopefully being communicated effectively here. And because of that 15 minute time frame inefficiency that I annotated before maximizing this one minute chart, that's the blue levels here, 18,307 and 18,304.75. That's that 15 minute old buy side of balance sell side inefficiency, where it traded down half to uh, like half of it. You can see it between the 730 and 740 level. And now it stops. I have been rolled. Unless it was a crazy gap movement higher, risk is removed and commission costs and fees would be covered. Again, $10 US dollars per contract. That's fees and commissions factored in. So that way you can see why that 125 covers that. 10 contracts at $10 per pop. And it gives me, a, you know, basically a pizza dinner, even if I get stopped out. So we're just floating above that first partial. And it should have really filled me. There you go. Must be random. All right. So now what I want to see is I want to see it get real heavy in here because we're inside that 15 minute old buy center balance sell center efficiency. And there's a gap in the blue on this one minute chart. So there's really not a whole lot of ground to stand on in here. So I want to see large ranges kind of like protract lower. So I'm preparing to take partials off, you know, at one contract at a time. I want to see the bottom of that or the lower blue line here at uh, 304.75. If you can trade there, I'd like to take one off. I think, it, come on, just a little bit more. Yeah, I'll take one there. And I want to take something in here. There you go. 
And now I have three left. I'm going to let that stay and ride to the lower target where it's too smooth in there. Uh, so far, it just looks really, really good. Everything that I'm looking for is in motion. And we're really in striking distance. So this has been just a, a real dandy of a trade here. I feel I'm facetious. Let's uh, put some lipstick on this <laughs> as we go out and sail into the sunset. That's so random. A little smiley face. Just a twist a knife. <laughs> oh, I see that you're so diabolical. As you can see, no nonsense, no graffiti all over the chart, just showing you visual visual aids, what I'm looking for and why. Hope you found it insightful. Till next time, be safe.